Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to show you this amazing scene stamping technique with a layering stencil. Now I'm using this with a amazing grip mat and I want you to just grab any old background stamps that you have. They can be clear, they can be cling. They can be anything you want. You just want texture, different textures, tight texture, larger texture, that kind of thing. And I want you to set up your layering stencil on your grip mat over a piece of cardstock. And then I just do the taco stamping technique where I'm grabbing the stamp with my hand after it's inked up and pushing it really hard through the stencil. This really helps you get the image all the way up to the edges of the stencil. So here I'm putting a pattern on the tree part of the stencil. And so you can actually see the indentations in the back of the cling stamp because I'm pressing it really hard to make sure that I get all of that pattern transferred through this very first layer of the stencil. And look how amazing that is. Is that the coolest tree trunk you've ever seen? Just from some random background. Now this stencil is amazing because each layer will mask out the previous layer. So it's very easy to line up and mask out that section that you just put a stamp through the stencil part of, and then you can move on to your next texture. So for this layer, I'm using, again, just a random texture stamp that I had that has like these little bubbles almost. And I'm using this on a clear block and you can see it's not nearly as effective as just picking it up and stamping with your hand. So I cannot recommend taco stamping enough. Use the tools that are on the end of your arm and get in there and press these stamps down for these different layers. This one is so fun. I don't even know what set that's from. I'll try to look this up before I do the supplies. But it's really fun because it has like a smoke kind of feel it has like these little round elements that pick up a little bit of texture even though this is all just black it's giving it this fun sort of cloudy smoky texture in all of those open spaces that are in the second layer now i love the grip mat because it really hangs on to my stencil so i can get in there and get nitty gritty with the stamps and my stencil is not going to move, which is amazing. So you can already see how cool this is. It has like this ultra modern kind of almost like Japanese sort of feeling to it. And then I go put in the next layer. So again, this layer is going to mask out other layers so that you don't have to worry about contaminating previously stamped layers. With this layer, and I'm just putting in one of the hillsides with one of my background stamps. It has kind of like a furrow, plowed field sort of feel to it, which I love. Now I have a layer that is going to mask out all of those trees and bushes. And it's going to give me sort of like a little hillside to go off of sort of next to those plowed furrows. So again, I'm just picking a background stamp, smushing it through the opening with my thumbs, and then holding down one corner of it to check my image before finishing the stamping. So now I have two kind of contrasting hillsides of the same pattern. And I'm ready to do kind of the foreground work with the ground. And you can see where it masks out the tree. So it's very easy 
to line up and just to open up that bottom part for me. Now I decided to use script for this bottom part for like the grass and you can see this is a very well loved <laughs> stamp. I have all kinds of mixed media products all over the back. But it is really important when you're doing this to hold the stamp down with your hand like you see me doing here and lift it up to peak and make sure you got a good image before you let that go. Otherwise, the stamp is not going to go down in the same place. And this isn't really something you can do with the Misty. It works better just with your hands and the grip mat. So just take that little tip for what it's worth to sort of hold at least one corner of the stamp in place. So now I have another kind of half tone print stamp that I'm using to put little dots onto these clouds. So there's the last section of the stencil that has like little cloudy shapes. It's very fun. And I thought that little polka dots would be, or half tone dots would be fun for those little clouds. Now, I also think that because it's just dots on there, I'm going to clean the stencil and I'm going to put it back down and ink blend over those dots because I don't feel like they have enough structure like some of the other elements did to really hold up as clouds. So I'm grabbing a gray, just a pale gray ink and filling in those little clouds. So they really do look more like clouds. And I think that makes a big difference in the finished card. So here's this fun, funky, modern scene stamping card that was so much fun and such a different way to use your stencils. So head over to my blog for more information and thanks so much for watching.